everyone, welcome back. Today I have another holiday party makeup tutorial and the inspiration behind this one was sort of like a pick-me-up makeup. If maybe you have been overindulging and you're feeling a bit sallow or blah or puffy, here is a brightening makeup for you. And of course, if you are one of my Aussies or you live in the Southern Hemisphere, this lip is so perfect for the spring, summer, holiday season. And then we've got a bit of glitter and we've got the lashes, all the things I love. Also, I just wanted to take a moment to appreciate a very historic moment in Australian history. We now have a sephora.com.au. <laughs> At this very moment, there is a Black Friday sale on sephora.com.au. Uh, there is 10% off every single product on the site, um, and that never happens. So I will put the code on the screen. It's BLX-BFKARIMA. All of this information will be down below, don't stress. <laughs> So I wanted this video to be a bit of a shopping guide. Everything that I have on my face is from sephora.com.au. So if you are looking for a gift for a loved one, or perhaps the best kind of gift, a gift for yourself, um, then hopefully you can get some inspiration from this tutorial. Happy holidays to you all. I'm sending you all my love. Be safe. And let's start the tutorial. Cool beans. I've already gone ahead and done my base and my brows, which you have seen countless times before. Now for perhaps my favorite product within my Sephora haul, the Marc Jacobs Lolita palette. So I'm taking a medium matte shade through the socket, bit of a transition shade, bit of a sculpting shade. Guys, the Lolita palette is exquisite. If you like your neutral colors, I highly recommend this one because it has a mix of textures. So you have three mattes, two shimmers, one glitter, perfect all rounder. Next, taking the deepest matte shade to add some depth to the outer corner of the eye. Now the idea behind this eye look is to keep the majority of the eye really bright and light with quite a dark outer corner. This is an effective eyeshadow placement if you're feeling a little bit tired because it offers that definition without having to go full on smoky. And you'll see what I mean as we progress. If too much partying makes your eyes puffy, I'm slowly raising my hand here, you might want to take whatever product is left on the brush just into the inner socket. Now pat a pale champagne eyeshadow over the mobile lid with any flat shader brush. I am lightly feathering the champagne into the brown shading. If it overlaps a little bit, don't worry. We're going to come back and deepen that outer corner so it doesn't have to be perfect right now. Tis the season to wear glitter. Yes, look forward to this every year. So run your brush in a glitter shade and then spray the brush with a setting spray. Water isn't a great substitute here, FYI. You want a proper setting spray that has binding ingredients to keep the glitter on the eyeball and not all over your cheeks. We're pressing that sparkle in the exact same areas where we applied the champagne shadow. The Lolita palette has this wicked pink duochrome eyeshadow. I'm placing that shade around a tear duct as a bit of a highlight. I am not the first person to say this, but holy moly, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper is the bomb. As always, you can opt for a wing or any shape you like. I just went for a fine line, mainly because I'm applying lashes and a little bit of liner helps to conceal the lash band. Back to our matte shade to reinstate the depth at the outer eye. So pack that shadow on the outer third of the lid and I'm taking it a bit into the crease too. I don't know what's going on here. This looks quite a bit darker in person, but my camera is just being fickle. Um, you can make it as dark or as subtle as you like. Liquid liner always looks best when paired with a dense pitch black lash bed. So I am tight lining. This is the Mirror Ness eyeliner. It's also available on sephora.com.au as with all the products that I'm using today. For the lower lash line, I'm keeping it bright and fresh. First dusting a pale matte shadow across the lash line just to neutralize any discoloration. Then back to our liquid liner and creating a series of small dots at the lash bed. This might look a little bit funny right now, but once the mascara goes on, it creates the illusion of much bigger eyes and incredible lower lashes. 
If you share my love for false lashes, then pop on your favorite pair now and apply some mascara. Benefit There Real has a ball tip, which is really great for coating every lower lash. Let's apply our bold lip now so that we can better judge how much bronzer and blush we'll need. This lip color is Marc Jacobs Crush. It's an epic neon orange and it makes me so happy. If you love a proper matte lip, like I do, then this formula will be all up in your alley. I'm applying straight from the bullet, then using a small brush to drag the color into a sharp edge. Let's finish off the rest of the face. A bit of precise cheekbone contouring, Karima Specials, with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm so pleased that Australia finally has this brand at Sephora AU. It is just a really consistent brand. Everything I've tried from Kat Von D has really been on point. You'll see me blending after each step with this Makeup Forever brush. So soft, so silky. And uh, it's a great finishing brush, just to go over everything and make sure that it's blended to perfection. Shading under the jawline also, in preparation for all of the Christmas pudding that I plan to devour before the year is out. No regrets. Same palette, dipping into some of the paler shades to brighten the planes under the eyes, if maybe you have some shadows, courtesy of late nights. Edward Best Daydream Bronzer. I don't know if you guys remember, but a few years ago, this was insanely popular. So I was super excited to pick it up as part of this haul. This Marc Jacobs brush is ideal for soft, diffuse application of bronzer, and it is synthetic, so I can't wait to try this with a cream bronzer. Here is an amazing gift idea. I would be thrilled to receive this product under the tree. The Becca Afterglow palette. It has a mix of highlights and blushes that would flatter such a wide array of skin tones. I'm dusting Moonstone highlight, on the tops of the cheekbones, a little above the arch of the brow, on the very tip of the nose. You know I love a highlight and Becca does it best. I couldn't pick between the two blushes because both of them looked uber pretty, so I mixed both, <laughs> because I can. Becca blushes are amazeballs, definitely try them if you get the chance. Going back to our finishing brush for a final blend, 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 make it seamless. And lucky last step, Set it all in place with a setting spray. Sydney Ciders, you feel me on that heat wave. It was absolutely brutal. Setting spray has been my best friend. That, my friends, is the final look. I adore this makeup. Definitely something that I will be wearing this holidays. Now, don't forget to check out the Sephora sale. It's only running for 12 hours, so click the first link in the description box and get in quick for that 10% off. Happy holidays, my loves. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will speak to you very soon. Bye-bye.